Hi, I'm Bill Morris. I'm currently a member of the House of Lords and in another life I was General Secretary of the Transport and General Workers Union. That gives me the opportunity to uh, practice and to spell out my managerial experience. Management not just in the context of delivering through negotiations but managing as a chief executive of a multi-million pounds organization. I'd be able to share with you that the current uh, situation which uh, we are experiencing on a global basis um, has got to be properly managed, it's got to be properly planned, uh, but confidence uh, and building the future agenda is in essence what I would be able uh, to lead you through as to what steps you should be taking, what um, contacts you should be building and how you should seek to motivate those around you because it's a recognition of reality that you won't get out of this or indeed any difficult business situation single-handed. You need people, you need organization and you need experience. But I start from the position of recognizing that people are the greatest assets of, of any organization and therefore um, it is incumbent upon those who manage, those who lead, to ensure that they have the right skills, they've got the right people, they've got the right policy, and they have the participation and involvement of the people, because your human capital uh, is indispensable and you can't put too high a value on it. I'm optimistic uh, because I can see strong, robust signs that we are getting some of the fundamentals right. We are dealing with some of the basics and the absolute key area of education and skills um, holds the key to our ultimate success and that's why every single penny spent in education, skills development, personal development at every level through a high and tertiary education um, is in fact a, a good investment for the future. So I'm very confident that we've got the skills, we've got the imagination, we've got the determination, we've got the will to win, and we also have the vision to succeed. Well, Boris Bill, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.